It's the Joe Padula Show, Clarksville's conversation. Absolutely. WTF. Why is a cosplay theme park in Utah suing Taylor Swift? Well, Red Pill Jen, she's going to fill us in. And that's now on the Joe Padula Show. Absolutely. Make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, click that like, leave your comments, and definitely help us out and share this video now. All right, Red Pill Jen, you're up. All right. Yeah, this is insane. So there's this little cosplay-based sort of Halloween-style theme park out in Utah. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, It opened a couple years ago, I believe, 2018. And the name of the place is Evermore. Evermore. Okay. A okay. Well, Taylor Swift's new album that's just come out, I believe, December of 2020, is also called Evermore. <laughs> um, so this theme park, long story short, pretty simple, is suing Taylor Swift because of the name usage. Right. Um, Copyright, right? Copyright. But here's the problem is that, all right, first of all, I mean, I've, I've actually thought about applying for a trademark. And, and there's categories. When did know? her album come out, though? December 2020. And okay. here's the interesting thing is that Evermore did not file for the trademark until it says approximately, uh, let's see, ch -ch -ch days after Taylor Swift's album was released. So Taylor Swift releases her Evermore album. Uh-huh. And then days later, the theme park files for the trademark of the name Evermore. Now, I sent you a text showing the actual National Trademark Registry. Right. Taylor Swift owns seven or eight categories of the trademark Evermore. for Because, you know, you have to have a, a different one. You have to have one for the music, for the merchandising. I mean, it's, it's really complicated to file. And then the other thing is that this well, little... Well, I'm sure she didn't do it. I'm, well, I'm sure, sure she uh, did. Yeah. Her G did it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, the, so this, the spokesperson for this Evermore Park is mm -hmm. actually complaining that they're receiving, that people are coming in and they're saying, oh, are you guys, you know, like related to the Taylor Swift album? And they're complaining because they've gotten booted down on Google. Uh, but the irony is I Googled it. I Googled uh -huh. just the word Evermore. Right. And right now, the only thing you see is theme Ta park sues Taylor Swift. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. And then just beneath that is the link to actually they are still listed before her album is on um, IMDb and or Wikipedia. Hey, let's take a look at this. Real so quick. I think they're just trying to get some kizash. Well, you know, Oscar Wilde said the only thing worse than being talked about is not being, talked, not about. being talked about. So, I mean, yeah. bad publicity is still publicity. Here's a uh, Evermore stuff. Park grand opening uh, video. It's very unique. With PC TV reports, and I'm down here at the grand opening of Evermore Dorks. Park down here <laughs> in Pleasant Grove, and it is just as magical Wait, that as Shane? we've been thinking. So <laughs> this is like a this this is like a Dungeons and Dragons theme park. Long time it's like more of a Halloween yes. theme park, like uh, see that's what I thought too. Uh, going this what's the, uh, Halloween horror nights little down little at Universal Studios. Nightmare Studios. Before Christmas so. people yeah. would probably love. So that. they got people mm -hmm. like this dressing up. Yeah, all the hot topic kids. Hey, let's okay. go down to the Halloween park. And it, it reminds me of like a giant permanent Ren Fair, like a Renaissance Fair. Oh, uh, it's really cool. And everyone's in character. And yeah, Shane, you like this, huh? Yeah, I think this is cool. Of course. Of course Park, it is. Our first experience That's good, though. is called Lore, which is our fall event, which uh, combines kind of a spooky fun festival into. Kids dress up like a SWAT guy, though. <laughs> what does that have to do with? Hey, it's a costume. It's a Halloween costume. You come in your costume. You know. So th a, they a SWAT guy in Wait, does he have a taser? Times. Look at this. They got this little kid dressed up in a SWAT gear, and he's getting blood now put all over his face. Maybe he's going to be a zombie SWAT uh, guy. I saw those protesters he was fighting off at the Capitol. I love his parents already. <laughs> Do a oh, and the guy was so in a Slytherin attire. Yeah, this is like D and D and stuff. And Evermore is what we I call think it was a Skyrim character. Parks. Oh boy. So you get to come in. We create a story. Oh my God! Could yeah, you like imagine this, this oh, being wow. your job? Have you ever been to a Renaissance fair though, and like yeah. nobody breaks character? Yeah. And, and it, that's exactly what this is like. Yeah, it, I hear they go above and beyond when it comes to uh, being in character. Yeah. People come in and go into an adventure and explore. Hey, Axtar. Hey, there you right. go. That story that we okay, designed. I like this place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Henry's all in there. So that kid needs some practice. It <laughs> can take you to a magical place where you get to escape the world for a moment and enjoy an adventure. You get to interact with characters. Characters will interact. Hey. Are those elves? <laughs> they look like elves. Yeah. They talk like yeah. elves. Interact with you. Do they really? Yeah. Yeah. It's I mean, so I don't, not that I know what an elf sounds like. Watching, oh. uh, yeah, yeah, you know, sure. A show or a movie. <laughs> 
um, you, you get to you get to explore it and you get to interact with it. So. How much do they get paid? Not oh, enough. <laughs> you know, on the one hand, sure, you could pay them. On the other hand, there are plenty of people that would love to do that for free. Really? Like, like the rent fair. I did rent fair stuff for free. Yeah, but okay. there's got to be liability stuff. I mean, oh, this place can't make money. I mean, it looks packed, though. I bet oh. Shane would do it for free. I have them all. That's what I was just Go. sitting here. I would. What? Yeah, uh, look at him. Mm. I'm the gatekeeper this is the gate that i keep dude so apparently you're, since they've opened they are doctor had... who what are you talking is about? that is that what he's dressed up like he looks like it uh, he's just wearing a name british fella's outfit <laughs> so apparently since I'm they've nervous, opened sorry, yeah. two yeah. years ago the they've had approximately 180,000 visitors to you, so that's pretty good really, there's like your elf lady that's weird we come from from the land of mythos. Oh you have not been there. I know human. They didn't put her last there. name Padula on there. Do you think that these, you know, like a, whenever I worked at like a company and we would all go out and hang out and party together. Uh-huh. Do you think when they go out, they go out dressed up in character and, and make out and everything while in this yes, character? Yes, yeah? absolutely happens. No. I, I think it does. I've I been at Waffle House. Parties, they are amazing. <laughs> yeah. Do they keep their accents while they're like <laughs> yes, yes, we do. enjoying? I can see that. They all go to a bar. Like I'll take a some of the best parties. No, I'm sorry. All of the best parties I've ever been to really? were cosplay parties. Cosplay parties. Oh yeah. I've wow. seen them at like Waffle House and Denny's at like yeah. two or three in the morning, and they're still dressed up and they're still in character. Yes, hello. I love the. Um, can I get them? Uh, can I get it stocked? Uh, <laughs> I, remember, yeah. I remember Smothered, when, covered. covered. <laughs> I remember Chomped. when. Oops, sorry. Go for it, Shane. I remember when uh, the Peter Jackson Hobbit movies were coming out. Then they had these, like, I think they were Applebee's commercials. Uh, there were these guys dressed up. And uh, there were these guys dressed up as the characters. And then the waitress speaks Elvish. And they're like, You speak Elvish? Okay, good. This is you right here in the chain <laughs> on the screen. This is this is who I see you dressing up as. Oh yeah, I can definitely do an orc. I think that's what he is. He Wait, know you know what these things are? An orc. Put these a D just... in front of that word. Look at you. a goblin. No goblin. Goblin, no, right? <laughs> orc is just elvish for goblin. Yeah, but they they're breaking character when they touch a microphone and act like they know what it is. If those were real orc dorks. He would hold the microphone. He'd be like, <laughs> "What is this?" Right? Well, you are right well, though, because like at a Ren fair, if you if you try and uh -huh. they, they, I mean, I've had them take because I've been to Ren fairs. They're fun. I've had them like take my phone. What is this? <laughs> what is this device? Yes, what is right. this Contraption. See, we got to start our own dork fair. Well, but also no. if they were real orcs, they'd be running around with axes, chopping all these hey, people up. That's true. They'd be true. killing the innocent. You, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Necessarily. They should go all in. Goblins um, are also known as merchants. Is that what you wanted to know, my day? This guy has never gotten laid. <laughs> I, I uh, doubt I bet, that that's true. I, I, bet, I bet the elf chicks really did. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> and they've probably done it in costume and in character. Oh, oh no. My God. Down, huh? down, down to Goblin Town. I'm doing it all wrong. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Yeah, she's gobbling something. <laughs> <laughs> High five. Oh, I can't. I can't. I'm, sorry. Uh, well, I'm really pound. blown away about it. My favorite hey, there's part... Shane. Has probably been <laughs> just all the cute little bars and places. I love it. Cute little, little, little bars. 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 <laughs> My dad let me drinks. <laughs> My dad lets me get a flagon of beer. Or a butter beer. Really cool meat. and medieval style. At first, Where me is that? including my mom. Uh, he said he's going to go medieval on that. Uh. <laughs> mom, I'm going to come at you like, like a I spider monkey. This is. And then we've kind of <laughs> gone through, and it's been really cool. I hope that parrot poops on him. <laughs> it's about the curse. <laughs> here, it's really into it. This is the burrows. Oh god. Currently, the goblins are trying to infest it, but we, the elves, feel that we are more suited to its beauty. So we have told everyone if they see <laughs> the goblins, tell them. I want to go to a ren fair. I want to go. A ren fair is different. I mean, it's similar, but. I want to go to this place. Well, yeah, I want to go to this He's place too. Look at this guy. I'm Tavern. sold. That's oh, like the guy guy. Oh, that's a guy at the Capitol building. Is that a satyr? Yeah, yeah, it's a satyr. <laughs> now, see this. His voice uh, just went up like seven octaves. Do you see this? I heard that. Do you I think? Gotta, I get excited. Do you think if stuff. one of the kids l nice. lift up this thing, <laughs> they'll see something? He's on stilts. <laughs> no, like, you know, like He's they asking go if it's all like out. a kilt. You think, right. Uh, yeah. He's doing commando. It is hot. Out there. Yeah, also, it would be appropriate for a satyr. Harry at the I mean, do you see all the fur on his legs? She's the love of my bloody life. 
You might go into a tavern. We have a and this is crazy. Can you imagine these people going out on dates? Like, oh yeah. So what do you do? Oh, well, funny story. Yeah, well, they're all they're all dating each other. Now, after watching this, and and uh, it's good. I'm glad I, I get exposed to this stuff and learn stuff. I wouldn't mind going to this and asking questions. Like I should dress up because my mom's like, we were supposed to like dress up. My mom's like, I should have pulled out. <laughs> oh. So if I were to come here in like a banana, I would be very embarrassed. But gulp. <laughs> I would come as a banana. Yeah. If, if I were to come here, I would probably just be dressed as like. Oh, look where he shot him! Oh. Right in the neck. Right look there where he just shot the arrow. I, I know I said it before, but whoever right, edited this right down. Like, this bit, this is the B-roll we're using. <laughs> I know I said this before, but write down into Goblin Town. Oh, uh, doing something. So clearly, like after seeing this video, almost. you can completely <laughs> understand they're, how they're, they're enchanted. how this yeah. this this applies so, to Taylor Swift's new album. I mean, Taylor the, Taylor Swift, I don't think has anything to worry about when it comes to getting sued on this. I, I don't no. think so either. No. But what she does have to worry about getting sued when it comes to uh, some type of uh, copyright infringement yep. is a cigarette company. Oh. oh, I saw this, but you know, I, when I was doing this research, who was it that is trying to sue her? The it. well, it should be, should be Camel cigarettes. Oh, because mm -hmm. of the time. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It should be Camel cigarettes. That's not even. That's not even <laughs> like okay? a moose it, knuckle. If I'm Taylor Swift, I I would be worried. Oh, that one's bad. That's, about that's a moose Camel knuckle. cigarettes. Not a camel toe. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, that's suing terrible. for. <laughs> For infringement rights and copyright issues, all right. Look, Joe, she's tall. I'm tall. Do you know how hard it is to find pants when we have long legs? I mean, it's not her fault. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> this is like picture number eight. I should be all right. You're looking at T Swift's crotch. Uh, listen, th I'm just looking out for Taylor Swift. All right, because it looks like she's got a problem <laughs> with going out. No, you googled public. all of these. Google. I like just a, went to her Instagram. Is there like a website? Look you? at that. <laughs> <laughs> Lawyer Wayne refuses to look at him. I'm doing another research over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> to be fair, though, I mean, she does. She's, she makes millions. She, you can hire a tailor, Taylor. Okay. Yeah. Uh, True. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so, Red Swiftly. Pill Jen, good job Swiftly. uncovering uh, the you. lawsuits. Thank you. <laughs> and yeah, do you think it's going to go through? I don't. I, no. think, I think I think she's good. All right. Just watch out. She Camel can, Cigarettes is coming for <laughs> she you. Can save, she can save the money and spend <laughs> it on some new pants. Well, I hope the kids weren't watching that one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He hates it when I do that stuff. <laughs> Wasn't that bad, right? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Was Quinn watching? Uh, uh, no, she probably turned out. I, I tell everybody, don't watch this Yeah, show. don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. I'll, I'll send you the highlights later. <laughs> it's the Joe Padula Show. Bada bing. Clarksville's Conversation.